Good morning, hey yo, what's good, it's your boy Wolfie, do you like my hat? Cause I like my hat, it's pretty swag, you know? Wear your hat sideways like a real dude. Right now I am in the midst of filming a friggin' banger for my main channel. You guys know how I did that 100 layers of wax on my hand? Right now I'm doing 100 layers of wax on my feet! It's gonna be fun, it's definitely gonna hurt a bit. I'm just letting the wax melt right now, but I thought I'd update you guys a bit. I know a lot of people have a problem with my toes, okay? My toes are a little weird because, but when I was little I used to wear, um, Shoes that were too small, so like one of my toes like kind of goes over the other toe. I used to get made fun of a lot for that. You guys are definitely gonna see my Shrek looking fucking ogre toes in this video, so get ready for that. And uh, I think they're starting to boil, so I'll be back in a sec. I gotta film the main channel video. Oh, and one more thing, as you guys can see, there is mad wax all over the table already, and the video is just beginning. I hate it. You can see Sylvia's reflection on the table. Cool reflective table DIY! Oh my god! You guys need to get yourself a marble table like this. It's only like 50 grand. <laughs> it's kind of cheap. Get yourself one, because then you can see yourself in the mirror. This is what my kitchen looks like after my wax video. Let's just say it was an absolute mess. Now I have to literally hop to the bathroom to clean off my foot because I have, because I have wax all over it. And I don't want to track the wax with me everywhere I go through the house. Oh my god. That's the first time my foot has touched the ground in two hours. This feels phenomenal. This is a sad day to see you guys, but I'm going to be throwing out these two pots I just bought from Walmart the other day. I bought them for this video, and let's just say last time I tried cleaning the wax. If you guys have been watching my vlogs for a while, you know that that was the most, the biggest struggle in the world. It took like an hour to clean each pot just to make sure there was no wax in it, because I'm not trying to cook food and have wax in it. And we messed up all our pots. And we did mess up all our pots, so, and the, and the dishwasher. So I'm gonna throw them out. Sad to say, luckily they were on sale and they were cheap, but goodbye, goodbye pot. You, uh, you did a good job in my video. I'll see you next time. Sylvia, welcome to Michael's. This is recordception. So we're at Michael's right now. Sylvia's looking for some supplies for a video, but I'm gonna look for, I wanna see if I can find that shot glass mold that I bought way back when. I never thought I would do so many videos with it, but everybody loves the shot glass videos. They're classic now. So I'm gonna see if I can find it because if anyone's at home looking to find it, you go to Michael's. I don't know where it would be though. They rearranged the whole store and it's like 20 bucks, I think. And it's gotten me through so many videos. I'm so proud of it. So we're doing a secret Santa at my house and we have a $50 limit. This is $49.99. This is like speaking to me right now. It's a star shower. Basically, it's like a light that goes on the front side of your house. You put it on and look at that. It lights it all up. Very, like, honestly useless, but whoever I got for Secret Santa, I might buy this because it's 50 bucks and it's calling my name right now, guys. But I can't say who I got because that would ruin the Secret Santa. Look what I found, guys. A box of magic. It's like 30 bucks, but you guys know I'm obsessed with magic tricks and stuff like that. So as a kid, I used to be like, I used to really want one of these. So now that I'm older, I think I'm gonna buy it and then try and do a magic trick on Sylvia if I get it. There's 50 tricks inside, so as long as I can get one, I'll try that when I get home. Then it's a success. Why do I always shop in the kids section, dude? There's literally like pom pom wows, some friggin' little dogs, Wolfie Juniors, and then my magic, my magic box. Look at this, guys. It's calling my name. <clears throat> so we're in the baking aisle now and check this out, guys. These are the shot glasses that have got me literally millions of views right here. These are them. 13 bucks. I thought they were 20 bucks. Shot glass mold. And I honestly lost one last time I came here. So I'm going to get another one just to have just in case. Why not make 16 so I can screw up once, but I can still push back and recover. They got these treat pop shot glass molds, these little cake pop. Thank you. You, you made my channel blessed. So we're looking for another cage for Wolfie because the one we got right now is like about this size. It's like the perfect size for him. The other one we had, the black cage, which he honestly hates, I think is this one. But the problem with this one is he figured out how to open it on his own. So now we're looking for one that's bigger because I don't want him to be stuck in this like for an hour or two when we leave. I want him to like be able to see out because it makes him more comfortable. So we got to get like either a just huge one of these and that wouldn't really solve the problem that I just said. Or we can get him a cage, but we're just afraid that he'll be able to escape the cage. And as soon as he escapes the cage then that's not good maybe we'll just get him an ultra strong double door crate this one says it's ultra strong and uh it looks bigger so maybe this one we also have to look for some boots for wolfie because he doesn't like going pee or poop outside anymore because it's too cold on his feet but i don't know which ones no these are disposable ones these are meant for like taking your dog in public in la everyone had those but we need actual boots this is a sign from god guys there is literally one more pair left i don't know if he's gonna fit in the small ones but screw it. we're gonna try it out if they don't fit they don't fit but gotta do what's best for the little boy never mind guys i found way more expensive ones at the front of the store these things are these i don't know if these are meant for the dog to go outside i'm just gonna assume they are these are little booties he's not gonna keep them 
warm. These ones are definitely gonna keep him warm. XX small, fleece lined, double, we're getting them. So Wolfie's trying on his new paws for the first time. We're gonna put all four on. Oh. Why did I say paws? I meant boots. Anyways, trying on his new boots. He's kind of cheese right now. We're gonna put all four on and then put him on the ground. He already doesn't like the one. I, I bet he's gonna walk like an absolute goof for the sec. Ready? All the boots are on, he's ready to go for a walk. Ready, buddy? Let's go. All right, go. <laughs> oh, what is he doing? Hey, come on. One came out. No, Wolfie, why'd you get it out? Run after mommy, run after mommy. These boots are supposed to fit perfectly, they don't fit. Come on, come on. <laughs> Wolfie. Come buddy, come on. Bye Wolfie. Come on Wolfie, let's go. Bye Wolfie. Bye. <laughs> Where is he going? <laughs> no Wolfie, what are you doing? What are you doing buddy? <laughs> Those are the smallest ones that come in. How are they supposed to fit? Bye, Wolfie. Wolfie. <laughs> He's like, ah. He got two of them off. Those suck. What the yeah, hell? Yeah, take them back. We should We're taking them back. The small ones that were like five bucks. These ones are fifty dollars. Yeah, what the they hell? They don't work at all, guys. Like, at all? They're so hard to put on too. Look how long they are. And they're so thick. Like, why are they this long? It fit, fits his entire leg. He couldn't even bend them. He walked so funny in them, oh my god. Okay, they're getting returned. Sorry, buddy. That was so funny, though. Sit. What a good sport. Good boy. He, he didn't even whine that much. Good boy. We love you. Aw. Don't worry, we won't put them on again. There's nothing better than fixing my house with some Gorilla Glue. I just picked up the friggin' most D's Gorilla Glue from the store. The, the tape is so strong that it ripped off my lip in one of my videos. So you know it's strong. And I'm watching some fucking Disney channel in the background, let it focus. Ooh! I'm just a fucking eight year old at heart. All I watch is Disney. Disney's the shit, been watching it since I was like four. I'm gonna continue to watch it. DIY Wolfie right now in the house. Let's get this glue going. You already know, ooh, let's get it. I honestly don't think any human needs as much glue as I just put. I, I filled this thing up with glue and now we're just gonna place it back where it's been. Me and Sylvia moved in this house and this thing's been broken for the longest time. Every time it comes off mid video, someone steps on it, so now it's not moving anymore. DIY Wolfie. For all the wannabe makeup artists, the makeup gurus, this is what a makeup setup looks like. We got a light there, uh, deflecting the diffuser back onto this backdrop. Sylvia got her other and fucking light. Here. Light here, light here, light here, monitor there. Everything, the new setup is lit! Wolfie, literally I was just chilling with you. Why are you running away from me and hiding under the tree? Anyways, I wanted to try something out with you guys because I'm in the Christmas mood. I'm in the Christmas spirit. I want I want all of my wolf fam to do something for me right now. So pause the video. I should fucking just explain it. So. Christmas is about giving, Christmas is about family, Christmas is about loving. Just the holidays in general are about spending time with your family. They stop school so you can go home, visit your family, visit your mom, visit your dad, visit your brother, your sister, your cousins, your fucking aunt, uncle, anybody in your family. Okay, I was thinking of a better transition, but I, I couldn't think of anything good. So basically what I'm trying to get at is, I want all of my wolf fam to go down in the comments right now and comment something very positive, like a positive comment that anyone can read, doesn't matter who they are, doesn't matter if they're a boy, doesn't matter if they're a girl, as long as they can read that comment and it puts a smile on their face, that's what I want you guys to do right now. Nice guy Wolfie is only here for literally one day, the rest of the day is fucking Savage Wolfie, okay? But because I'm Nice Guy Wolfie, Soft Wolfie today, that's what I want for my Wolf fam, so pause the video right now, go down, comment something extremely nice, extremely generous, that anybody can like, that anybody can read and be like, damn, that was fucking generous. I'm having a good day now. I want your comments to turn someone's bad day into a good day. That's all I want. So go down, comment something good. I already am expecting a lot of trolls about my fucking nose and about my fucking hairline. You guys are too predictable, okay? Positive comments only. Social experiment will be out for duty. Thank you. Now we can go back and bug Sylvia up because I'm trying to film a video. Is this a makeup tutorial or what? This isn't even a makeup tutorial. Then why are you putting on makeup? Get out of here! Leave! Are you filming? I'm going to. Okay, start it up. I'm doing my makeup. I'm not even here. Get out of here. I'm not even here. I hate you. I'm not even here. You're right there. I'm not even here. You can always tell when you're here. Why? Because you're loud AF. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'll leave. What are you barking at, buddy? I'll fucking slap you, dog. Let's get it. I'll backhand you, bro. Let's you want beef, bro? Shit, he's coming. He's coming for beef. Hey, you want beef? That's what I thought. Run. Run up, dog. Run up, dog. Like, what position is that? 
You're beefing me and you're like, nah, scratch my stomach. All right, no. Time to learn some magic. Welcome to Magic with Wolfie. Oh, guess what? I'm not even wearing my hat. I'm literally not even wearing it. So first magic trick confirmed. My sweater was holding it, so I thought I'd do that as a magic trick. I got my Discovery Kids box. I ain't a kid. I'm seven years old, okay? It says ages eight plus. Oh, shit. All right. All right. Thank you for watching, guys. That was it. Just kidding, I'm just kidding. I'm seven years old. Bye. I'm just kidding. I'm nice. So to start this uh, magical world of magic and world and magical, I need a knife to open this. We'll just use our brute strength. Squeeze it. Too many instructions. Too many utensils. Put on my handy dandy glasses here. All right. These are definitely too small for my face too. So. As you guys can see in this package, the most important thing we have is the is the magical stick, okay? This is the magical stick. I've had a cadabra! That's what I thought. When Guardian Leviosa looking ass. Basically, this stick is, I guess, a stick just to go like cast spells and whatnot. Harry Potter, Dumbledore, you know the usual. I don't even know I need to explain that part to you guys. <laughs> you all know it. Like everyone knows it. We also got some rings. Three rings. Okay. We also got this thing. <laughs> This thing, I don't even know what they are. Handkerchief, some cards, um, um, other thingies, some more magic cards, some plastic, some more of this, some more of this, and then basically this. So I'm gonna try and learn the simplest trick on here. Okay, so the first trick I'm gonna try is I'm gonna make an elastic band go through my thumb or something. So you need one elastic band for this. Basically, I just, re I just read the instructions off camera, so I'm gonna try and replicate it now. It's pretty complex. To be honest, this book is not simple. So the first thing I do is I have my hand like this. I'm gonna twist it once it says away from me. Then I'm gonna put my finger in between here and then twist it towards me. So there's like a circle around my finger. I know it's hard for you guys to see, but this is what the step said so far. This is where I've gotten so far. So you need to put this back around your thumb, okay? And then I can hold it like this. So now if I pull out this finger slowly, it should lock into place it says. Okay, okay. All right, so we'll retry that because that was a fail. I'm gonna skip to the last step. Okay guys, so as you guys can see, I've wrapped it around my thumb twice. Now I need somebody to hold my thumb. Apparently the elastic band's gonna go through my thumb, so hold my thumb to make sure it like can't this? go over. Yeah. I'm it's scared, go, you're gonna hit me. It's gonna go through my thumb. This is not a magic trick, this is a this prank. This is a magic trick. It's a, a prank, prank. Trick. I'm scared. So you are holding my thumb to make sure the elastic can't go above it. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Three. Ah! What the fuck? I said three and then did it. No, 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 I'll do it again. Let Guys, first magic look. trick. Okay, get, get, a, get a closer look. look. Here, I'm wrapping it. No, okay, relax. This is a regular <laughs> elastic band. Let me see. Check it. Okay. This is my regular thumb. What else would it be? I don't know. So I got this. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to wrap it around my finger twice. Yeah. What are you doing here? Okay. So as you, guys, as you can see, it's wrapped around my finger twice. Oh, I saw what happened. You didn't see, you didn't see. <laughs> you fucked up. How? <laughs> How did I fuck up? This is what so, you did. No, no, no. Watch. Wrap it once. <laughs> Hold on. I need to be a magician. You see, watch. I'm wrapping it once and I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. I'll wrap it again. And as you can see, <laughs> Oh, you fucked up again. Okay, guys. I know how you did it. No, I just had to use WikiHow to figure that out. So you grab it, twist it away from you, put your finger in here, twist it towards you, Put it over your thumb, and now you're holding it while this locks in place or something. So look, you can see my thumb, you're like, holy shit. Put, Sylvia, put your hand over my thumb. So look, it's going through my thumb. Boom. Magic! Guys, I'm gonna be honest, I've read a few of these tricks, and they're each about a paragraph long. Literally, it doesn't even tell you what each of these things are. It's just like, grab a cup. Grab a fucking ball, do your shit. You got like, so happy when you found this in the store. Yeah, I was like, Charlie's no, I can do shit that kids can do. Loves magic tricks. You've always loved a secret. magic. Okay, it's not a secret. <laughs> Guys, I used to be addicted to like looking up every single magic trick He's and watched figuring every out every YouTube it. video on magic tricks there is. But then it's like, yo, here's one of the magic tricks. It's like, yo, friggin' do a, switch the color of the ball. It's like, hey, hold one in one hand and go like put the second one in another hand and then put this over it and just like this. As you guys can see, it's red now. Oh my god, this is a lot of reading. These are terrible instructions. Can we get some pictures, please? Zero out of ten. There's no pictures. <laughs> this is it bullshit. doesn't show you anything, guys. What kid is gonna try and figure this out? So that's just a buzzkill. The one I did was the easiest magic trick alive, to Here. be honest. Which one's the purple ball in? Okay. I don't know. Pick! Okay. 
I have a trick for you actually. Guys, I'm gonna give you a better angle at this because this is apparently supposed to be an easy magic trick. So Sylvia, can you show yourself to the camera? What's up? Here, here's three balls, blue, purple, and pink. You have a box, put one in the box and I'm gonna figure out which color you put in the box. Today, please. Here you go. Okay, hide the other two balls so I can't see them. Let me see this box. There's nothing, <laughs> there's nothing in here. <laughs> oh jeez, there's snake. Put one in there. Okay, hide the other two. There you go. Good? Good. Why did you turn around what? like that? How is that gonna help? I need to see it from behind my back. See it from behind your back. Yeah. You can't see it. I'm guessing. Let me guess. Can you hurry up? I'm guessing! Okay. What kind of magician are you? <laughs> is it blue? Let's see. Oh yeah, it was. <laughs> Let's go! I am the one to win! How'd you guess that? Magic. I'm magic. The Easiest magic trick alive. Guys, I'll show you how I did it. Here's what I did. And this is actually, I guess when you're doing it on people, it's actually like, it's, it works because some people just like, they don't pay attention. Oh, that's me. I'm you sorry. gave me a ball, okay? I didn't give you shit. Okay, you gave me a ball in a oh, box that. and I was like, shit. This one weighs a little more than the other ones. Okay. It weighs a little more. That's why I knew. What do you mean? I'm joking. Okay, no. You gave me this. I put it behind my back and here's what I was doing. I went like this and then put this here and then brought this out to you. But this was in my view. But it looks like a closed box. So that's how I was You're like this. You're a snake! And then when I went around my back for the second time, I was like, okay. It's blue. Whoa. Magic trick, Wolfie! That's the Wait, only easy one. Let me try. Pick one in the box. But you're not a magician. Yes, I am. I just need the abracadabra stick. All right, you can turn around. <laughs> okay. They can't even see you. This girl's like looking hmm. the other way. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, don't be so obvious while you're peeking. The key to being a magician is What's sleight of hand. What's you have to that? Be, no. You have to like keep it, a conversation with me. Is it pink? Yeah. Yes, thank you. Yeah, but keep a conversation with me. But keep a conversation with me so I'm not distracted. Okay, okay. And make me focus on your hands. You're not a master magician. Calm I down. I used to watch Matt tutorials. <laughs> so yeah, I am. Let me do one more. He's so serious. Let me about do one it. more. Hold this. <laughs> Vlog this. I actually want to know how to do this one. So look it up in my uh, book of 50 tricks that are absolute shit. Ring. You picked purple. Last trick, guys. By the way, guys, hit that like button if you actually want me to come back and learn some dope magic tricks. None of these. I loved magic when I was younger, so I will legit learn some tricks and teach you guys some tricks. If you want to see them, go smash that like button. You're the yeah, only one that wants to do it. Here we go. I do want to do it, so please hit that like button. <laughs> so here we go. I'm gonna make this levitate. I got a wand in my hand. I'm watching so intensely now. I'm holding my wrist. You're gonna make it levitate? No tricks. Holding my wrist like so. Ready? What's your finger doing? Ah! It's not levitating, you're holding it, you idiot. <laughs> That's the stupidest magic trick I've ever seen. That was one of the ones in the book. It's that like put your index it. finger, point it there. You just have to sell it. I didn't sell it. All right. It's way too try hard. Is this your card? I didn't pick a card. Hold on. As a kid, guys, I used to be an absolute beast of this. This is your card, okay? Abracadabra. It's, I see it. We can fully see it. Where? You kept your hand sideways for the longest time. Okay. You always try and show me this trick and you fail at it Kay. every time. Look at the card. Okay. Where is it? I'm gonna flick it, it's gonna disappear. Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> I'm over this trick. Good nice job. trick. Last trick. Oh, wow, you're so good. Please, just look. Literally, it supplies you with shit and it's just like you're on your own. Just do it. Fucking YouTube tutorial, everything. It's because a magician never tells its secrets or whatever. But yeah, there's mad <laughs> magicians on YouTube exposing everybody. Like, Here's the care. instructions, but they're not really gonna help you because I can't tell you. <laughs> It's a magician's this is a secret. Snake. This is a scam, guys. And half these tricks, you need an audience member on your side. It's because you do them for people. So it's like you would ask your mom or dad or something. We're ready for one more magic trick. To everybody at home right now, I'm about to trick you. So keep your eyes on the prize, okay, guys? We got a five. The die is a five. One dice is called a die. Watch this. Five. Ah! Six. You're the coolest magician I've ever known. Five. Look at this. I'm gonna make a dot. I want an extra dot. So three, two, one, da! 
Six. I have no idea how you did that. Guys, this wow. is all I had to do. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and the last trick I'm gonna teach you guys is how to levitate something in five seconds to trick any of your friends. So here we go. Basically, I got my wand right here, and all you gotta do is just hold your hand under it and just, uh, uh. Ah, there we go. Come on, come on. All right, back to my head. Thank God, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> so we had it on a string like this, guys. <laughs> you can't make it levitate, okay? From what I'm learning, it's just all sleight of hand and magic, okay? You gotta just learn to trick you people. You gotta learn how to trick. So I guess the moral of the story with the magic tricks, guys, is magic's hard. It's not something you can just learn. There's like very few tricks that you can just pick up like that. So I guess I'll just have to wait until 2017 to be a magician. My my dream is just crushed. So me and Sylvia are just headed out on a late night adventure right now. But yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog off there. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, do not forget to go down and smash that like button. Let's hit 25K likes on this video and then you'll learn magic if you hit the like button. Instant magic. You guys already know what I told you to comment. I told you to comment something positive. Don't forget about that. Also, shout out to Georgia. I see you all over my Twitter, girl. And that's it for today's video. I will see you guys soon on More Wolfie, where we stay a little bit more savage than my main channel. And as always, stay savage, Lego. Stay savage, Lego.